So we're here at the Summer Fancy Food Show. We're in New York City. John Tanklidge, Chef Austin, Marakan. So we're showing off vinegar. What vinegar does in cooking, how we can use it. Of course we know that we can pour it in rice and have that acidity factor for the sanitation piece but also the flavor. But it can be used in the same capacity in many other applications. So kimchi, for example, is very popular right now. We have the, the fermentation piece, good for the belly, good for the uh, natural bacteria. But we can use the vinegar in the same way with the acidity to kind of bring out the flavors, right? Acidity being a seasoning, just like salt, just like pepper, and sugar, and acid. So it's an integral component to seasoning, no matter what you're working with. So we like to show that off with some simple food. Um, What's going on with the salmon there? Okay, salmon, uh, this is using acid to cook. That sounds kind of weird. How does how's that work? Well, acid and heat, when applied to protein, create the same chemical reaction. So the raw salmon is no longer raw. It's been cooked right here in a matter of what, minutes wow. in the booth using the ponzu, which is very similar to lime juice. Right. Citrus, okay. ponzu. Citrus ponzu. And uh, the point there is to take a normally raw item and cook it without the application of heat. So no moisture loss. You're retaining all that weight, which is good on the food cost side. And then of course, uh, the flavor, acidity, rich fish, salmon, balance itself. So that's a fun one. Uh, these tomatoes, this is super cool. I like playing with uh, kind of senses. So umami being a fifth taste, if you will, or flavor or it's argumentative, whatever you want to kind of call that. We can argue all day if it exists or not, but it's the flavor of earth or dirt savory, or much right? savory is a great word for it. So we take powdered dashi, which is a broth, a Japanese broth made of seaweed and dried fish, dress the tomatoes, and then we use my favorite product of the company, the soy ponzu. And that's all this is. Soy ponzu, powdered dashi, and tomatoes. Wow. Best earthy, fresh tomato you'll ever eat. Amazing. It's so just control. right onto a salad or into, a, into an entree. Yeah, and there, yeah. it's got that, what is that, like, right. element to it. Like, yeah. I don't understand why it's so good. Keeps them coming back. Good, right? right? Uh, this is fun. Seaweed salad. Sesame, uh, cucumber, seaweed, chili oil. Fun garnish or salad, as it is. Uh, we did some roasted uh, Brussels and kimchi doughs, so heavy on the kimchi, so it's real spicy. Anyone who likes a heavy spice. And then of course pickles, we always have our pickles. Uh, sliced cucumbers, the GB, the original, uh, genuine, genuine brood, brood. and, and, yep, yeah. and, and uh, ginger. Yeah, That's wonderful, it. fantastic. Yeah. So then we of course have what we know as aromatics. And uh, you know, even the booth next to us said, oh, I can smell what you're making over there. We're not cooking anything, yet we're yeah, creating smells. Yeah. So that's from the essential oils and herbs and whatnot. So green onions and cilantro, yeah. we're gonna dress everything. Awesome, Our thanks Chef Austin. Cilantro. We'll go ahead and get this plated up and we'll get a yeah. shot of it when it's all done. It's beautiful it and it great. smells delicious. So can't wait to try it. Come see us.